All right, and we're back with Days Gone. This is my walkthrough part 34. Uh, yeah, we do have a mission right here, so I guess we'll jump straight into it. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a doc to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> okay. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Mr. Asbien, you'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. <laughs> you know, me parece... It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, and go. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No, no I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. He Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I... I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Okay, uh, I guess it's on, it was only a cut... well, two cutscenes. So, um, okay, we do have a story mission. What kept me going? Uh, so I guess we'll go straight there. Let me just grab the bike before we do so. Just to be safe, you never know. Okay. It looks like it's Sarah's um, tent. So let's see what she wants. Alright. Here we go. Well, that's it. That's as far How can I help? You can't unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath where I could check out. You can't get what I need there. You. God, do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you can get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Oh, well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm. Pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in the ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to step on his status.
Wow, okay. Um, yeah, let's go. Uh, fills and pass. Uh, Alright, so I think anyway. fills and pass is, you know, the, yes uh, the way no back to the first region. The the well, you know, kind of where Lost Lake and everything hey, is. You're in the Army so I guess we'll... Know. Well, let's see, that I guess. I'm not sure why, but I do recognize the name, so... Okay. I think it makes more sense now. Uh, yeah, in the previous video, we did go to uh, Komal Kemalt Community College with Sarah and grab uh, a centrifuge for the, well, for Wizard Island, I guess. And, uh, yeah. It was actually quite interesting. A lot of things happened, well... A lot of freakers and, you know, marauders, of course, had to step in at some point as well. <laughs> but it was interesting. Uh, there was a couple of scary moments there, so yeah. Check it out. I'll leave a link down in the description as usual. If you guys want to check that out or any other previous Days Gone video, of course. Uh, but yeah, this looks like the path back, like I said. So maybe this unlocks, you know, that so that we can go back whenever we want to. Hopefully, that would be amazing. Alright. Let's see. Another cutscene, of course. You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am, I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. <laughs> Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jesus. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. What's well, okay. serious? Um... Okay, I'm not even well, doing this. I'm not driving. I mean, Alright. <laughs> I guess I'll sit that. down and watch as well. Colonel, or sorry, sit back and watch. Um, yeah, I still don't know what to think about the Colonel. Honestly. Oh I really don't. Nothing, just... He seems a bit I bossy, you know. Just don't see it anymore. The way he handled, you know, uh, Dr. Jimenez. I can understand his yeah, point of view, you know, that he's the only doctor and he shouldn't be, you know, moving and around in, in the shit, like they call it. it but still. I mean, don't they have their freedom? You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, oh yeah, uh, Deacon. What kept you <laughs> going? Up, I I don't believe well, you. you know, I, I would like to believe, you know, that he thought that I Sarah know. was alive. I guess, but yeah, I don't know. Die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't want to. I didn't want to let him down. Ah, okay. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's that's when I really wanted to. <laughs> that's when I really wanted to kill myself. What? <laughs> right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still have my mongrel's ring. Oh, he's joking that's, around. That's he, has be. he has Figured to be. He has to be. Look you up. Get it okay. Back. Oh yeah, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe of course if you're new to the channel and turn that notifications bell on. We are playing Days Gone and hopefully soon I will upload the next, uh, well, the last two Sekiro videos as well. We're almost done. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking about starting our Rage 2 walkthrough as well. I have been playing it. A couple of hours, actually. But I will, of course, start from the beginning. It is quite fun. It does remind me a lot of the, you know, the new Doom games. 
Maybe not as much, you know, gore and scary, but still, it's a good game. You need your help to move that out of the way. My god, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um... You could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You gonna help move us or what? Yeah, sure. Okay, so they haven't actually even heard about the Rippers. On, well, on, you know, the military. Haven't heard about them. Okay, that's actually quite interesting. I thought that they were, you know, a well-known cult. But alright. Then I understand why, you know, Deacon would lie about his wound. For example. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. He, he did lie Jesus. about that. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. So okay, that explains at least a a half of it, half of it. But okay, it looks like we're a for about a mile. getting closer. Not that far away. Run. Beautiful. Seen worse, Let's see, what is yeah. this place? Hey, this looks familiar. This facility, yeah, yeah, Cloverdale. Oh, hold on. There was a flashback when we were here before. Oh yeah. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay. All right. The power's still on. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power is still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been 751 days since your last login. Please wait. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. <laughs> it's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh my god! What is it? Nothing, it's... What the hell? Look at this, there's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it, it's the, the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power is on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power is still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. Infected. It's what's made them so hyper aggressive. It makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. What the hell happened here? I 
don't know. Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. Wow, okay, something went, went down here. Uh, let's see. Yo, so the security here did kill the civilians. What? Really? Okay. Oh, maybe it's that guard that was here before, you know, during the flashback. Uh, what was it? Jim? Alright, uh, let's see if she has clearance. Nope. Okay, I guess the front entrance at least is disabled. Walk with Sarah. All right. Okay, so why is um come on. Call it Ari. Why is Ari working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. Well, this is actually quite interesting, I have to say. You know, every piece is starting to get in its place, you know? Now it's been what? I really do like that. But okay, um uh, Oh wow, okay. God damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey sir, you know how you said the noise. Okay, why are the security cameras still working? Huh. Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you and we're not here to stay! Oh god, let us in! Well, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. Alright. Yeah, so it looks like this place is not entirely abandoned. I mean... Hmm. And by the way, it looks like the crows have actually, you know, managed to get to this area of the... Well, of the map as well. There weren't any crows before we got to, well, Wizard Island. Okay, let's try... Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Here we go. All right, nice. Have you done that before? Yeah, once or twice. Yeah, that's the <laughs> once or twice in indeed. That's the second time actually. <laughs> I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot. But I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people. And if Jim's in there, he's gonna let Jim, us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Dean, up that, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Agent Fire! Come on. Get down. Mother fuck you. were saying? Yeah. Fire! This world is top of anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Alright, uh, so it get, looks like the whole security, you know, the whole security guard uh, division security or whatever. Finally. Security hey, company is still alive. <laughs> Don't tell me they've been here, you know, for two years. Just in here. That's it. Kind of looks like that. I mean, since they do have food. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see who the leader is. It's clear. 
I think it's that, uh, yeah, like I said, that gym guy. Oh, hold on. There we go. Come on. Nice. Okay, we do have... Okay, do I get something extra for shooting down those? Oh, wow. Um, well, the speakers? I don't know. She did ask me to do so, so I don't know. Alright. Okay, at least we can grab the bottle. Can we... Oh, another lock. Hold on. Nice. Give me some goodies. A saw blade. Looks like Jim. And... Wow. A shotgun. I don't know. You know, a sh in the beginning of the game when you got to play with, you know, a Boozer's shotgun, it was actually nice. It really was, but I don't see it, you know, as efficient as an assault rifle, to be fair. Especially against the hordes and swarms of, you know, uh, freakers. Alright, Sarah, do your magic. Let's on. go. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker, security has been breached. The Cloverdale what? facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override, ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh, Alright. Walk up already. Alert. They must not have. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I don't see any speakers. Hey, this time, we go in together. Alright, let's go. Shit. Snipers up there on the roof. Whoa, snipers. What? Oh. There we go. Wow, this handgun is so powerful. One shot on the leg and it takes him out. <laughs> so yeah, keep your hand well your eyes up for uh, a gun called the Eliminator. It's kind kind of like a well, you know, a Magnum. Or uh, you know, uh, Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID two zero zero seven six five. A Hawkeye. Override and disable the fucking voice response. Come on. Well, ready? Oh yeah, it is that guy. Jim, wait! That security guard from the flashback. I knew it. Nice. I mean, it it was kind of obvious, you know. Are there any more? Yeah, it looks it like it's clear, to be honest. Yeah. It's clear in here. What now? Yeah, this is really starting to get a long mission as well. The previous mission was quite long. It's clear. Same here. This one as well. So we'll see if we, you know, complete the whole thing, depending on how long it gets. Yeah, I guess time will tell. If we go past 30 minutes and still not, and we're still not done, I think we'll you know just pause the game and continue from the next in the next video. I guess. Come on, let's try okay, the door. open this door, Sarah, please. ID two zero zero seven six five nine. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah, I read wow, Whitaker. really? Your Come on. Clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Fucking bitch. Hey, hey. Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh yeah, you got one? Yeah, okay. Well, uh, I guess we'll look around. Like I mean, is there a way to that rooftop? For get to the atrium. Over is that there. it? There's a ledge out here. Maybe this way. You mean you should be able to Nothing. 
Listen, I want you oh. to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. Oh, come on. on. There's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? Oh, shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. All right. What's your idea, Sarah? Please, do tell. Put your hand on that reader. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm in. Okay, She's about to give me clearance. All right. Admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's temporary access ready. code. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, yeah, our full name, blah, 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 5429009, okay. <clears throat> what now? Okay, she's going around. Boost Sarah to the roof, no problem. Come on. There you go, Sarah. Yep. Yeah, I'm actually starting to feel bad for you, you know, for you guys who <laughs> uh, are playing this and don't know that Sarah is alive, for example. Well, people who don't know that Sarah is alive and, you know, accidentally click on this link. Because I'm trying, I'm really trying not to, you know, spoil with my thumbnails and stuff like that. But it's kind of hard, I have to say. It really is. Whoa. Deacon Lee St. John. ID Come on. five four two nine zero six zero nine. Deacon Lee St. John. Welcome to Cloverdale Research Iron View facility. This is your first login. Please disable voice response. Come on, get her! Damn it, she listen to me! Wow, Jim. Really? He's really stooped low. And shot. Alright. I guess we'll go down and take care of the guards before we continue. There we go. Nice. Whoa. I'm sorry for my poor aiming. I... <laughs> But, yeah, to be fair, it's kind of, you know, if you guys have played Red Dead Redemption 2, for example, it's kind of like that, to be fair, and that aiming was not the best, either. On the other hand, I have, I still have not, you know, fixed the uh, sensitivity, to be fair, so that's my fault. Let's grab this. Okay, should be all right. All right, moments of truth, man. Finally, Jesus. Hands, don't shoot! Hands, don't shoot! I give up! Get give up. up! Don't shoot him! We need him alive! Oh God damn it! I said hands! Uh, all right, all right, just, just tell me what you want. Okay, all right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? <laughs> Just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One? You don't understand. Two? Look, don't do this! Three! 
Open the goddamn door! All right, all right! I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. <laughs> Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. true. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? God, this is my fault. I, I don't understand. Your I should fault. have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me, he kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay, who's, who's David? Sort David of... Gorman, he was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified... Project or something. I don't know. Classified project. Just slow he wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could you understand. Have stopped? It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold, hold on for a second. What's up? Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse, is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. You think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. All right, so Sarah actually blames herself for this. Hmm, wow, interesting. Hopefully we'll get to know more, but for now guys, I'll pause it here and we'll continue in the next episode. Take care, peace, bye.